Today we're going to be looking at two AI tools that replicate something similar to the old uh, Mario Party mid-game for uh, Bowser's facelift. So that was a game where your Bowser's head popped up on the screen and you have to like morph the head to get it as close as possible. Um, what if we were able to do that, not the game aspect, but just the fact that we can morph any head uh, really quickly and we're going to be using two AI tools. I'm going to show you both of them. There will be links in the description below that you can test them out yourself. And what's cool about today's tools are they are uh, available on GitHub and Hugging Face. So if you go to this URL here, uh, we can upload our image. Um, so the first one we're going to use is the Mona Lisa. So you can see she is here. And if you give it a second, she'll pop up on the right. So we'll just like rotate her head. And you can see her head go up and down. Um, just with ease and that's kind of cool so let's make her head stay up a little she's looking more profound we're going to turn it right so we make it look more towards the camera um, and we can also tilt her head like around so we're going to just tilt it like this and then we can also adjust the eyes so we can you know move the eyebrows so you can see our eyebrows go up we can see them go down um, we can make her blink so her eyes are closed, now they're fully open. There's a winking option, so you can just have one open or closed. And then, of course, we can decide where the pupil's looking. So you can see it move left and right, so we're making it look more towards the center of the camera, and we can move the eyes up and down. Uh, there is also settings for the mouth. So uh, this took me actually a moment to figure out, ah, <laughs> make the sound, ah, so your mouth is open more. Uh, if you want a higher ah, <laughs> e. So, uh, again, just make these sound effects, and that's kind of what you're looking for. And then we have the woo factor. So if we maximize the woo, it kind of closes, and we can give her a smile. Um, so this is our Mona Lisa we started with, and this is our new Mona Lisa. And there's also other settings you can play around with. Um, it's kind of incredible how fast this tool is, because we can just change the input. Uh, here's a picture of my wife, and we're going to submit with the same exact settings that we just applied to the Mona Lisa. And, uh, yeah, she looks kind of creepy right now. Uh, let's move her head back. Uh, we're going to adjust her eyebrows. Um, yeah, she looks really excited. Um, and we're going to close her eyes a little. Um, it's just kind of crazy the stuff you can do uh, in a matter of uh, like seconds with this tool. Um, so just kind of neat. Uh, the other one I want to show you is, so that the first one's expression editor. Uh, the next one is called face poke. So, um, we're going to start with Mr. Beast. Okay. So here he is. It takes a sec and you can see him. And now we can just drag the cursor around and you can see he just kind of like does whatever you want. We can move his eyebrows, change his expression. Uh, you can adjust his mouth. Uh, what's cool about this one is in the top right, it has this show face markers. So now if you highlight any section, it shows you like exactly what you're about to grab. So we can see if we're like tilting his head or his eye, we can open them, his eyebrows. So you can actually kind of see exactly what it's going to do. But you can see with this tool really quickly, we can adjust uh, Jimmy. Uh, we can hit replace, and uh, we're going to use the yellow jacket mean guy. Uh, and, um, you know, you can do the same exact thing. You can adjust the face. You can see it adjusts the tree a little bit. I don't know why, but this is just 100% AI that is uh, making all these decisions. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Drop a comment down below. Let me know how you're going to use these tools. So you're going to just play around with them, or is this the extent just watching me play with them? And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more AI content. Yes, I flipped the whole channel. We're doing uh, AI stuff going forward. And it's just such a fascinating field. There's so much going on and uh, just really enjoy it. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button because the majority of you who watch this uh, video right now, especially if you've made it this far, are not subscribed. So do it. Do it now. It's free. We'll see you in the next one.